hello viewers this is actual Rafi once again welcome to this new video of this make money with blogging tutorial series for beginners and in this video you are going to learn how to do complete seo settings for your blogger blog so that google search crawling software or the program is going to be able to crawl your website and they are going to place your blog postings in google search results so in this video we are going to cover how to work on this title section we are going to add our description into the website and then we are going to work on meta description which will help google crawlers to crawl our website find more information about our website to place into the google search results and finally we are going to work on these crawlers and indexing section where we are going to talk about google search console and we're going to see the process of adding our website into the google search console and then we are going to add our custom robots.txt file and then we are going to do the proper setting of custom robots header tags so without further ado let me take you to the blogger backend and here we go here this is the blog site which we have completed working on so far and it's time to just do the seo settings and then it's time it will be the time to make our postings so if you want to watch the full tutorials then here is the playlist i'm going to attach the link of this playlist into the video description so that you'll be able to watch these step-by-step -step videos so let me just take you again here and i'm going back to the blogger backend after that we have to click on this settings and then here we go we are on this basic settings page so as you can see on this basic part we have got the title and then the description of our website so my website title is already been added human health guide so if you want to edit it here is the editing option click on it and then you'll be able to add your text so it is, as it is already been provided let me click on cancel and after that i have to give our description so i have got the description written here so let me copy this description part from my word document and let's get back to uh, blogger backend let's click on it and here we go 500 characters maximum so your description should have less than 500 characters or exactly 500 so let me just paste it here and then let's click on save changes and this description should have some information regarding your blog contents as you can see as i'm going to write contents about healthcare of humans so i have just entered information for men women and babies healthcare all right so you have to put the description by following your website niche and information so let's click on save changes and after that we have got this privacy settings option so let's click on it and make sure add uh, these features as you can see add your blog to our listings yes this should be added to bloggers listing so let's keep it to yes if it is selected to no make sure you have selected this yes part after that let search engines find your blog obviously we want our website to be shown on google search results uh, yahoo search results bing search results or whatever search results uh, available out there all right so make sure you have selected this one to yes so let's click on save changes and after that go a little bit down and you will find this option https make sure that your https redirect is selected to yes all right so you have got two options sometimes it's on no but make sure it is in yes all right and we are done with the first basic settings page it's time to go a little bit down here and click on this search preferences page and here on this page we have to add our meta tags or meta description so here if we just click then just take a look help users chose to click on your blog in search results by writing a compelling summary of what your blog is all about so it is on disabled mode but we have to make it enabled so let's click on edit and after that click on yes and then you are going to see this field where we are seeing an example at blog about social networking and web design and it the character should have maximum 150 characters so i already have written this description as well to save our time so let me just copy this meta description copy and then make it paste here so as you can see here my blog is about human health and i'm going to route write contents about human health care their hair eye face uh, face skin bones and other healthcare related content so i have written this little summary 
by including all of the keywords that I'm going to make contents about. All right, so make sure you are doing the same as well. So this will help Google Search Console to get a good understanding about your website so that they will be able to show your posts in Google Search results. All right, so let's click on Save Chains here. And after that, we have got these errors and redirections. We don't have to work on this as of now. So let's just ignore this one. We have to go a little bit down on this crawlers and indexing section. So as you can see here, warning, use with caution. So if you don't know yet, or if you are actually a complete beginner, and if you never ever worked, you should have more attention here in this part. So if you make a little mistakes in this part, your blog site could be hidden from Google search results. So make sure you are following all the steps that I'm going to show uh, so that you won't make any mistake here in this part. So let's go for this Google search console first. So this is for indexing or actually for crawling your website from uh, Google servers or algorithm. So let me just click on this edit section here and it is going to take you to the webmaster tool and then you have to sign in using your email address let's click on next and as i already have given the password let's click on next so now as you can see here domain name we want to add our domain so let's just copy the domain name of our website let's click on view blog after that, copy the domain name here and paste it here. Click on, okay, so we have to remove this HTTPS part and this sign as well. And after that, we have to click on continue. And here we go. Ownership auto verified and our site has been added here. As you can see, verification method and then ownership verification, everything is all fine with this website. And we have added our website into Google Search Console. So let's click on go to property. And okay, so got it. And now we have got our website listed here automatically as we have signed in into Google Search Console with our email address, which is associated with this blog. All right, so now we are done with Google Search Console. Now we'll be able to see the performance. You will be able to do the URL inspection will be able to give a website and fetch it from our Google Search Console so that our search ranking process are going to be much faster. All right, so now let's just cross it out. We are done with Google Search Console setup here and it's time to add our custom robots.txt file. So let's just click on edit and after that we have to enable this custom, uh, custom robot.txt. So let's click on yes. And now we don't have the custom robot docs text content yet. So how to create our content here? So let's just copy this part or actually we can type out here custom robots .txt generator for blogger. Okay, so just click on hit and then you will find this website ctrlq.org then blogger. So let's click on it. After coming here on this website, you have to copy your blog domain from here. Copy and paste it here. After that, click on generate sitemap. And here we go. We have got our sitemap created. We just have to copy this part. Copy and go back to our blogger backend. And then we have to enter this text into this field. Click on save change. And now we are done with this custom robot docs text. As you can see, now it is enabled. It's time to use or actually set up this custom robots header text. So these are really important. These are from crawlers and indexing part, as you can see. So it is already been uh, disabled. So we have to enable it first. So let's click on enable custom robots header text. Click on yes. And after that, you are going to see all of these important settings here. So these are about which page should Google search crawlers should index. So on home page, we want all of the pages from this home page should be crawled by Google. So let's click on all. And after that, we don't want any directory page to be indexed. So let's click on no DP. So let's click it, click, click on it. And after that, we have got archive and search pages. 
so if you want to get your archive and search page it should be indexed or not indexed you can select this from here as well so as you don't want so we can select on this no index and after that no directory page as well so let's go a little bit down and we have got defaults for posts and pages so we want all of our future posts and current posts should be indexed for google search console so what we have to do we have to click on this all and after that we don't want to get any directory page index so we can select this one no directory page all right so make sure you are following all of these settings very correctly so let's click on save change so that's it we are done with all the seo settings in the back end of our blogger and it's time to learn about these post seo settings and we are going to learn about how to write a seo friendly post for blogger blogs in a future video and i hope to see you in the next video as well and again if you want to learn about blogging from the beginning then i am going to attach this playlist into the video description so that you will be able to learn them step by step uh, and let me just break it down on the first video i talked about my uh, beginning journey of blogging and i have just started making money from blogging as well and i just invited you to join me to make money with blog sites and the second video we have created and set it up all the things of this beautiful website as you can see here all right so we have added these uh, drop down menus as well and other things we have worked on this febicon this logo we have worked on sidebar we have worked on posts and these footers as well and on the third video we have made our website mobile friendly so they are now looking really beautiful on mobile devices as well and on the fourth video we have added all the important legal pages which are required for google adsense monetization for a blog so we have added these terms and conditions page privacy policy page disclaimer, disclaimer page we have added contents on about us and contact us page as well for our blog so now it's completely ready for google adsense or actually making posts and waiting for google adsense um, application process so let's just join with me guys and i hope to see you in the next video and again if you have got any question regarding blogging please feel free to let me know by commenting below and let me know your opinion as well and please share this video to help your friends if someone needs this information so i hope to see you in the next video thank you very much for watching